Well, in case you didn't know, it is National Oh Hello Rescue Dog Day. And what a perfect way to celebrate than looking for a friend who wants a forever home. Gail Helms is here with Pets for People, and she brought the cutest. It's not even a puppy, though, but no. it's, he's acting like a puppy. But he's got so much personality. His name is Tito, and he's about eight years old, <laughs> and he weighs about seven pounds. And we're finding out he's a real hang of. Look at him. He's modeling. He is so cute. Are you signed with an agent? Yeah. <laughs> so if you're looking for now, he's got lots of energy and he does yes. not like this thing around his neck. It's okay, you look so if, handsome. I know, but if you are looking for a little buddy that's <laughs> got energy, but then can also be a lap buddy, Tito would be just the <laughs> and he's going to keep you laughing all the time. Oh my goodness, yes. This is and he gets along with other dogs. Great. And I bet you, as small as he is, he would get along with cats because they would definitely put him in his place real quick. But just a cutie, cutie pie. His owner was um, had some health issues okay. and couldn't take care of him. And so they trusted us to bring him to us and let us find him an appropriate home. How have y'all been over the past year? I know it's been so long since we've had y'all well, in the studio. Now, and now we are doing adoptions by appointment only. Okay. So you can go online to petsforpeople.org, click on that adoption uh, application and complete that, submit it. We'll take a look at it quickly and see if we think it's going to be a good match for your family. And then when we make an appointment for you to come out, we'd like for you to bring dogs if you have them, kids if you have them, and let's do a meet and greet and see if he's going to be a good fit for your family. As far as it being National Rescue Dog Day, I mean, here we are always preaching adopt on shop. We've cleared the shelters every year. Um, anybody on the fence or heavily considering adopting a dog or cat or any other sort of animal, what advice do you have? What, what, what should people really be thinking about before they make such a commitment? Well, realize it's going to be about a 15-year commitment. There's going to be medical expenses involved, mm -hmm. but also make sure that the environment's going to be good. If you're not ever home, you're not going to want to get a dog or at least a small dog that's going to require a lot of attention. Right. A cat may be good for you, but, you know, just really realize that this is a long-term commitment and that, you know, it's... Uh, it's what's best for the dog and the cat, or the cat and for the people who are considering adopting um, because it is, it's going to be a lifestyle change. It's like actually having another child in the house. Quit that. Quit, quit scratching. <laughs> Let's look at your face. He's like this bandana. I know, I know you can't see it because it's crazy. <laughs> just driving me crazy. JJ doesn't like his bandanas either, but no. I'm like, you know what? You look so stinking cute. I know, cute. so cute. So just, uh, you know, make sure that it's going to fit into your lifestyle. Um, because for dogs that are brought back to the shelter after they've been <laughs> adopted, it's very traumatic for them. And we need to make sure that it's going to be um, a good fit for everybody involved. Gail, where can people browse Tito's information or any other animals that y'all have right now? They can go to petsforpeople.org, click on adoptable dogs, adoptable cats, and we have some other good information on there as well. And also check us on Facebook. We've got lots of stories, lots of uh, uh animals that are available for adoption and um, some good adoption stories. Are there any donations y'all need right now? Always, Always need <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> it takes a lot to take care of these animals to spay, neuter, vaccinate, and some more uh, things that we have to do to them. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, he's just a cutie pie. He's I've got like, lots of energy. He's like, did somebody fall in love with me yet? Because I, I sure know. did. <laughs> he sees himself now in the monitor. <laughs> Look at him. And we're there Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 1, 2 to 5. We also do low-cost vaccinations for the public, except for rabies as well as microchipping. Yeah, that's where my dogs get their charm. My cats, at least, have been there several yeah. times. Thank yeah. you, Gail, so much for brightening our day with a little Tito Thank you, here. Thank Cynthia. <laughs> a little <laughs> camera's shocked right now. Uh, after the break, we'll take a final look at your weather forecast.